Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to talk about clear lenses. It's more than just a clear lens. For those of you who may not know, I'm Austin Ross, pipeline welder for seven years now. Here on this channel, I share tips and tricks for rig welders, pipeliners, and the pipeline lifestyle. If those are videos that you're interested in, make sure and subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when I post a new video every Friday. All right, so first and foremost, this is a two by four clear lens. It's what we use in our pancake hoods, sugar scoop, any hood that has this size of lens. Um, it's to keep sparks off your lens because welding lenses are can be expensive. They can You can get them for 15, 20 bucks or you can spend over $100 on a <clears throat> welding lens. So I put one on the outside of my lens and on the inside of my hood just to better protect it on the inside. You're not usually gonna get sparks on the inside, but I always keep a clear lens on the inside of my lens also. In fact, whenever I'm using an auto darkening lens, yes, they make an auto darkening lens for the pancake hood. If I'm using auto darkening lens and I'm on like heavy wall pipe, I will actually put two clear lenses in front to help keep the lens from my lens from getting too hot. Because if it gets too hot, sometimes it'll stay black or a lot of times that's what'll happen. It'll just stay dark and it'll take a minute to come back, you know, to where you can see. So. Oh, and one more thing, another good thing to putting two clear lenses in front of your lens is in case you're welding off a buggy on tie-ins or something and you didn't bring an extra clear lens because you forgot, you can all, whenever this outside one gets too much flutter on it, you can just pull it out just like the motocross guys do. You know, they tear off the, they have several little things that they tear off whenever they get mud on them, they tear them off. Same idea, you pull it out and you have a fresh clear lens and uh, you're good to go. So. Anyway, a little bit of info on how I use clear lenses, but what are some other things that clear lenses can be used for? So the number one thing that I've always used this for is for a spoon or a fork. See on the pipeline, nine times out of 10 on any job you go on, you bring your lunch because on most jobs you don't leave the right away. There are jobs that you do that you can go to town and eat or whatever if you're on tie-ins or if you know, you're, you're working somewhere where you get time to go eat, but a lot of times you're out on the fire line out in the middle of nowhere and they shut down for 30 minutes for lunch, but I mean, most people just bring a sandwich, burrito, you know, fruits, vegetables, whatever. They just bring their lunch. Sometimes they cook out on the right away. And sometimes you forget to bring a, something, a utensil to eat with. I forgot several times to pack a spoon or fork to eat my yogurt or applesauce or fruit or whatever, or, uh, Vienna sausage or beanie weenies or any of that clear lens comes in handy and I have used it I don't know how many times to eat my lunch so that is the number one thing that I've used a clear lens for other than welding another use for this clear lens that I learned this last year working with Andy for those of you that don't follow along Andy was my welding partner on the last job that I was on in West Virginia and we were waiting on a tie-in waiting on a weld just hanging out in a uh parking lot somewhere, gravel parking lot, and our helpers were practicing welding. They didn't have no way to space the pipe, and I don't remember, I guess the spacing band I had wasn't long enough or something. I don't know, Andy said, look here. He took a clear lens, they, it was 24 inch, I think is what our helpers were welding on, and he took two or four clear lenses, and he put them around the pipe and used the clear lens to space the pipe blew my mind I was like wow that is so cool now that is for a 532 bead most generally depending on the size of land you got on your space and everything but I measured it before I started this video a clear lens is just right at a sixteenth of an inch thick maybe a skosh smaller but space and band daggum space and band I couldn't believe it so if you're ever in a bind but you got some clear lenses and you're running a 532 bead Clear lens, baby. So I thought that was pretty neat. Another thing that's cool is most pipeline contractors supply clear lenses. So, yep, yep, it's a big thing that they supply because welders, especially downhill welding, we go through clear lenses a bunch. So, one last thing that I think I heard this from my brother is he uses this as an ice scraper. <laughs> Blew my mind, also, you know? So, pretty neat. I've actually used it as a, you know, to scrape the snow off my windshield before. In fact, I keep some in my toolbox, but I also keep some in the door of my truck. 
The reason I say that is because if you keep your clear lenses, a lot of welders keep their clear lenses in the cab of the truck because while they're in their truck driving to the next weld or at lunch, they're changing out their clear lens and it's say it's winter time or, or maybe they store their hood in, in the cab of their truck, they might change out their clear lens in the truck so they want to have some in the cab there. But if you're, if it's snowing and it's snowed a lot and you're, say you can't get your door open or say you remote started your truck and um, you wanted to clear your windshield but your, your ice scrapers in the, in the cab of your truck but you've got some clear lenses in your toolbox, you can just get in your toolbox, grab a clear lens and scrape off your windshield, side window, whatever. Um, works real good as an ice scraper. So, so that's all the cool things, three different things that I've heard of and used a clear lens for. I put down mud scraper and like putty knife, so like you could use it for something like that also, but never actually have. I don't. I think I might have used it to smooth some gasket maker or something, but anyway, anyway. Let me know in the comments what you have used a clear lens for or what you think it could be used for other than just a clear lens. That is gonna be it for this video. My advice for this week is improvise. My grandpa, my dad's dad, the one that actually told me every Sunday growing up, learn something every day. That's where that saying comes from for those of you who uh, did not know where I got that saying or where I heard it. That is where it came from was my Papa Ross, my dad's uh, dad. Um, but he also, he did concrete work growing up and he always told us grandkids, me and my brother and our cousins, we worked for him during the summer. He always said, improvise, you gotta improvise. So that's my advice is improvise, you know, use what you got and get the job done. Thank you for watching this video. We will see you next Friday. And remember, learn something every day.